I have returned for another episode of the Karate 360 podcast, and so too has Richard Mosdell. He is here and back on time and ready to go. No super secret top meetings this week. Nope. You're here. Yes. And we're ready to do this. You betcha. This big Karate 360 podcast. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm one of the hosts, Kaylin Anglos. Richard Mazda. Bring us home. Karate 360, let's start the show. You will kick high and I will sweep low from local to global. It's the thing that we love. Karate. Sanrokumaru. 360. 360. Three, six, zero. Three, six, zero. Did some decorating around here, Richard Mazda. I noticed a lot more pictures hanging around here. Does it feel more homey, more clubby? It more feels more clubby. It definitely yeah. feels more homey and more clubby. For sure it does. Yeah, the, the collage of stuff there was going to be moved soon. We're going to get a, a Really? Race. I like it. You like it? I like it, actually. Okay, cool. Well, we're leaving that for a little while. We got another frame just like that. Okay. And behind you, you see more certificates that are framed on the wall. I do see more certi- I see certificates there, pictures down the hallway that way. It's cool, eh? It's great. I love it. It's cool. I love. I always wanted to have a club where like you, the history of everything is happening. Mm-hmm. Then over in the corner there, all the medals are going to be pinned all the way around the wall. Awesome. Yeah. So it's awesome. But by the way, uh, it's Mr. President to you, sir. Oh, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> President. Hello, Mr. President. That's right. I saw that. I yes. heard that. You know, there's. A, I think you read the origin story. Maybe did I tell you the origin story? Maybe it's back in the '80s. Go for it. I think I've mentioned this on the podcast. Like I would go to tournaments, and I would sit in the stands, and I would literally cry because I wasn't allowed to participate. Okay. It's like because our club refused to be a member of the Karate BC. I'm like, man, I want to be in it. I was. I actually hitchhiked to tournaments, not to get in, just to watch. When I found out they existed. Okay. It's all pre-internet, of course. I remember once. The president then of um, the island society, even before there was an a, a official society, there was a group and there was a guy leading it. And Fernando Carrera came over and he like put his arm around me. He's like, "Are you all right?" I'm like, "Just like, can't believe it. I can't I can't participate." He's like, "Don't worry." That was like a time like you wouldn't quit your club, right? Right? Yeah, Just yeah. Especially as a teenager, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, it's like one day you'll be in this. Don't worry. So okay, so fast forward. I go to Japan. I train, I come back, go to Vancouver, start my own club, my first Kenzen club. I join Karate BC. I finally go on the BC team. I go to Nationals. I go to the Nationals Coach Institute, become a team coach. I go to Japan for 10 years, right? An amazing experience. I come back, open this club, and now I'm the president of the Island Society. Yes, you are. So weird. So weird how they come so full weird. circle. The president before was a president for three weeks and decided that. Nah, too, too much, too much, and by myself being vice first vice president, I just bumped yourself bumped, up. I I got bumped up. Nice till next AGM. Well, I can think of nobody else better to do it. To be well, honest. thank you, so, sir. I mean, you're already kind of running things around here, anyway. So. <laughs> Glutton for punishment. I guess so. Um, but it's good because I had like a schedule of things I wanted to do. Like we gotta get some stuff done. Sure, got some things to plan. And like okay, you plan them. Speaking of things doing, yeah, we have a nice little uh, club handbook. Totally. This is something that I've. I've never seen done before is a club handbook. Tell us a little bit about this, Richard. The I want to give something to the club that they can follow why we do what we do and all the benefits. Mm. So this is history of the club, who the instructors are, what is karate, why do people do it, what is self-defense, all about the instructors, how to wear your uniform, club rules. And you know what? There's a huge section in there for parents. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. does it say for parents? Uh, how to be a good supportive parent mm. and, or and how to be a misguided parent. Um, then all the curriculum lines, everything you need to know. Back a ton of Japanese. There's more Japanese terminology in there for karate than most black belts. I saw know. that in the back, yeah. And then at the very back, you can record your uh, all your belt tests. That's great. And Rip. this is mine, I know, because it has my name on it. Yay! And the one thing that I really like about this, I told you this before, it, it, it's awesome, it's great. But the one thing I really like is now whenever a parent or a club member or whoever comes and says, hey, how do I tie my belt or how do I wear my so, gear, whatever, any question, it's all answered in the manual. We can just go, go take a look at page 14 of the exactly, manual and it's going to tell exactly. you all about it. So now it's makes it a little bit easier for us instructors as well. Totally. Yeah, it's totally. so good. I think it ties into our website because the website can show them physically how to do some stuff. Sure. And this can say like, here's how you should think about training. Here's what, like when we're doing things on the floor, this is why we're doing it. Mm. You know, how a belt test works. Where it all ties in, like 
a lot of people walk in, they don't have any clue, or they did karate at some point in their life, and it's different, okay? Here's how we fit into the whole karate picture. Um, and they can get this also online on the website as well? Right now, no. Oh. Right. No. Right. We want, we're, 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 eventually maybe, eventually maybe, but we want it to be like, we don't want to make things too easy. Take it home, hold it, read it. We have emailed it to a few people when they joined. They're like, oh, okay, I got it. Okay. Yep. But we'll see. In the future, we may have it up there. I think it makes it easy. I think it makes it easy. Yeah. We'll see. First things first. First things first. First things first. You know, when you make... When you, we, remember, on the website originally, we had a ton of stuff, like pages and That's pages true. of here's the history and here's this and here's this. And when you looked at the actual... Uh, like clicks, the, almost nobody looked at those pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost nobody looked at it. Yeah. So now we're giving you something. Sure. Right? And uh, see how it goes. And if they forget, I think you should come give us $10 cash so we can raise money to buy new equipment. There you go. If we put it on the website, there's no raising money for new equipment yet. That's true. Yeah, that's true. All right. Tell us a little bit too about this past weekend, the World of Water Weekend. I saw the <laughs> pictures, man. It looked like quite the event. It was huge. You got a new black belt in the house. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. <laughs> like, did we did we talk about it last week? I can't remember. But no, we wouldn't have. No, no. Not. She, my daughter Emma, passed her black belt. Boom. Test. Yes. Wow. Twelve years old. How old is that? Eleven. Eleven years old. So junior black belt. Junior black belt. Congratulations, oh Emma Mazda. Just yeah. absolutely killing it. Five people went. Two people passed. Mm, wow. Uh, one from our club. Less than fifty percent. Wow. Um, one girl who passed was her third attempt at passing for her showdown. And so she passed. She this made time. it through. Awesome. Yep. Good for her. So uh, yeah, it's weird now to like my offspring are passing black belt tests. That <laughs> <I> just <laughs> doesn't crazy. compute. Because when I was like, when I was younger, I didn't think I'd have kids. Sure. And then I had kids. And I was like, yeah, I had them. And I had them. <laughs> then I like, all right, I'm not gonna push them as long as if they say they're gonna do a couple months, I'll let them do a couple months. But I'm not gonna be argumentative or sure, sure. You know, if we go to a tournament, and Jay's like not feeling it that day. I'm like, you don't have to compete today, Jay. It's okay. Sure. Um, but that's, I think, also let them enjoy it. Yeah, 100%. So, and I think that's come to, like, they have definitely enjoy, obviously, karate. And I don't think they would ever say that they don't want to do a tournament or whatever, especially if they're there. Like, they're just so into karate that, yes, uh, yes. They, like, they love it. So I think I think it's good. Yeah. I mean, there's, there was once where we went to an event, which I will not name. And Jay was not <laughs> into it because he'd been sitting on the floor for like three hours. Oh, yes. Yes. It, for his division. Yeah, I mean. for his division. He yes. finally like, he had cramped know, up. He was, he was like anybody, like anybody sitting on the floor for three hours is not going to be happy. Yeah. And then he was like, I'm not into it. I don't want to do it now. I'm like, okay, you don't have to Might do it Might be the same event. We don't need to say what event it is. But I remember several occasions actually where I'd go up for my division. You'd start the division. They'd stop the division for lunch. Yes. Then they'd have a demonstration. And then an hour and a half later, they'd be really common at events. Yeah. Like, I'm just out of my flow now. I'm cold. I got to warm up again. Yes. I don't even yes. remember what's going on anymore. Like, exactly. Come on. Let's just get this done. So, nope. so very happy about very happy with her. She did, a, she did a really great job. And, you know, she comes to the club. She has six classes a week. Crazy. You know? Good for her, though. So um, not saying everyone has to do six classes a week. But it's there. But if you want your black belt by 11, yes. it's a good way to do it. Yes. Yeah. And we had a really good night on Saturday night. Oh, yeah? Saturday night, we went to the local Japanese oh, place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fudo. And um, right near here. And they, the, the, the Japanese chef there, Shingo, loves awesome, like, kind of alternative dance 80 mu 80s music okay and he just started cranking up the volume had his own spotify list nice. and we were like dancing and he was cranking up finally all the customers left because it was too loud <laughs> at like 7 30 8 o'clock at night and his all the staff were dancing we're like this is great that's awesome yeah it was really very fun shout out to fudo exactly there you go exactly all right, should we go into a little bit of Karate Global News? Because we got some new rules to talk about. I've been reading new rules, and boy, there's a lot of interesting Ooh, stuff. Did damn. you did you ever peruse? I haven't gone. I've I've looked through it, but I haven't kind of put it through with a fine comb. I got. I found some doozies in here, which are really interesting. And these are going to be in effect for 2019. In transition. In transition. Yeah. All right. So tell us about some some new uh, some of the new WKF rules. Hey, if you're going to go do kata, mm -hmm. do you want to wear a blue, a red? Or a black belt. If you're gonna do kata, I would like to wear a black belt. I mean, it makes sense to do red versus blue because that's what they're doing. But 
I think if how you're about a black if, belt, you want to do a black belt. How do you get to wear your color of belt that you have because they're going to scores, not rounds between people? Okay, so they're going back to the scorecards? So they're going to um, use, at the world level five, at seven people in a row like boxing like boxing so, uh, uh, and at the front and just, just at the front seven seven and then yeah you know at a national or local five okay and if you have a touch screen you will touch you'll put in your numbers for technical and athletic okay yes. 70 percent technical 30 percent athletic yeah if you don't have a touch screen you'll just do the calculation in your head or on a on a calculator sure then you write it on a whiteboard or so you get it's out of five each one is that right uh a second here um I would bring up the chart. So there's technical, tactical, uh, athletic. Well, there's only two. There's, there's only two. Um, technical performance. Okay. Before it was a conforming to style. But right, right, right. Technical performance has stances, techniques, transitional movements, timing, correct breathing, focus, kime. Okay. Com- so and then inside that is conforms. Okay. And then athletic has strength, speed, balance. Okay. So okay. there's one out. Okay. Was so it power? Well, conformity, there was conformity. No, it wasn't powers. No, no, it was four in the old athletic one. Oh, in the old athletic. I think it was flexibility? So like strength, speed, power. No, not flexibility. Agility or, I thought there was power. Maybe. Uh, anyway, it's only three. Strength, speed, balance. Um, okay, so they got the two, the two different sectors now. Yep. And you get X amount of points for one, X amount of points for two. You add them up. Yep. And that's your score out of whatever. Yep. And I'm just going through like here in the, looks like they have a range, like 7.5 to 8.5. And I guess you can, you can change the ranges, but I haven't read this far into it. Right. But here's seven judges, right? Right. So they are kind of going back to the, to the, so what's an average? It looks like an average. So drop the, drop the low, drop the high. Yeah. As they normally do. Looks like around an eight is the average in this, in this sample. So they dropped the two, two lowest and the two highest? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So seven judges, they drop the two lowest, the two highest, add the remaining together. And then you go to your factor of 0.7 for technical, 0.3 for athletic, and you get your score. Okay. So then you add them together, and you get your total 24 point, right? Okay. So let's say you have, let's say your technical ends up being 17.10, and your Athletic is 7.38. There's your final score. Your final score would be 24.48. Mm-hmm. I like this because it tells you more about your performance. It tells you where you've done good and where you've done wrong. As long as you get to know the inside score. As long as you get to know like what you get for technical. Yeah, if you, you just know it's 24.48. You have no idea where that came from. Unless you just go, well, well unless you just go, well, obviously 70% is 17.10. Yeah, that's true. Right, you just times it backwards. Yeah, so it gives you a little bit more information, but it's it's going to be a lot more time consuming, mm. I think. Well, I think on a touchpad, it'll be a little faster, mm. right? They'll just go tag. I, they'll just say like, if I'm on a touchpad, I'll see all the buttons of some sort, and I'll just go eight by one, seven point one, and it's automatic. Right. Now, do, do, done. The other thing I, I'm not crazy about is like, how do you differentiate between an eight point one and an eight point two? Or an well, 8. It's impossible. And an 8. It's impossible. It's impossible. Right. So now we're getting a lot more. I mean, subjective. Oh, like but it, it was subjective before too with the flag. So the thing is with with um, uh, with the scores in the old way, you would go to one tournament. Let's say you get like twenty one point zero. You yeah. go to another one, you get like twenty point five. You go to another one, like twenty three. You would really only have a good idea. If you did like six tournaments and how your average, yes, because one at one tournament with the same referees, yeah, it happens exactly. Because sometimes yeah. a referee, like for example in Japan, they still use the point system six point five, seven point five, and because there's just so many people to go through. Sure, and uh, when some referees would always float between seven point one and seven point three, which is way high. Yeah, some would always float at like six point six for seven. sure. I was always dead center. Like I learned, okay, I think it's that. I think they're looking for that. I think that one's going to be there. So I learned how to be like right in the middle. Okay. And uh, so it's really only going to be dependent of that event. Mm. So it's, you, an 8.2 cannot translate. It's going to be like in gymnastics. Yeah. 8.2 in gymnastics can be different than Romania than it's going to be That's in Chile. True. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it's going to be 
it's going to be event specific based on the referees there. But that's the thing. The key is everybody gets those group of athletes all compete in front of the same referees. Right. On the day. Right. Anyway, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting after like two or three years using it. They're like, wow, Chile is always like 27. Yeah. You know? Let's you go know, back to the flag like, system. Um, the thing with the flags is you won, but you didn't get feedback. Yeah. Now at least you get a little bit of feedback. Yeah, so. you get something. You get something. You know, the only feedback you got with the flags were how many flags you got. Yeah. And I got how much better you five, got. Five. I got yeah. four. I got three. Yeah. You know? Or at least I got a flag. Yeah. Hopefully they... They show kind of what we're looking at here. We're technical performance. That's what you get. Athletic performance. That's what, what, you I, get. what I liked about scores is, especially when I first came here, so I would look at something and I go, that's a 6.8. And I knew like 90% of karate competitions in Japan would score that 6.8, mm. which is a little low. But it's kind of like green belt, brown belt level. Sure. And so I could look at it and go, oh, that's about a 6.8. And then I could tell a kid like, for me, you did a 6.8. But if you did A, B, and C, you could bring it up to a 7.1, I think, for me. Right, right. And it's really clear. But right now with the flags, I'll, I'll be saying, well, there's this, there's this balance, there's this issue, there's this leg, there's this technical. And, of course, you say all the same things. But you're like, but I don't know where you're going to pull in my brain. Yeah, right? yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how they, they do it. Um, Anything else in, the, in those new rules pop out to you? Uh, I haven't read the whole thing, but the sure. thing about the scores and the belt. I thought the belt is really cool. I like that. I like to be able to wear your own belt. Yeah. If that makes sense. And, and yeah. if the tie, and, and here we go back to if there is a tie, um, you have to do one more kata that you haven't done. Okay. Yep. So I, had, I didn't read it unless I missed it. It sounds like it's not both athletes. One goes up, the other one goes up, and then they get a score. It sounds like. Everybody goes, goes up. up. Yeah, they just break it. They have a whole thing on. So like, that'll save a little bit of time. Yeah, you know, they have a whole bunch of you know, if it's right. so many people, this is how many rounds that they're going to do. Yeah. All right. Well, it's going to be a learning curve, and like you said, it's going to be a little transition period. But uh, so you'll never need in the new system. You also never need more than five kata. Before you need seven. I mean, and that's for ninety-seven or more. Exactly. People. So if you're ever going to be in a group that's ninety-seven or more. You're never going to need more than five. So what do you think? I think even locally for us in BC, even across Canada, in each four. division, yeah, you, you don't use, well, I mean, you don't even usually have more than 24 people in yeah, the division. Yeah, you just need three. It's three katas. Yeah. Um, so the nice thing about this is, will, okay, so here's the question. You need, right now you need like five to seven because you could go up to seven rounds, right? But with this, you need less kata. Yes. So there might be less pressure to use a more variety of kata, mm. right? So I'm surprised that this came out after the world championships. Well, it's f this is now, think about it. This is what they want to use for the Olympics. I, I know. That's this is the run-up. Yeah. So they probably wait. Wait for the old system to be done. Yeah. And it says They're not going to have a lot of time to play this out. Though, no, no. Well, well it, says, it says here for national competitions, the use of the flag system is okay for the whole of 2019. It's all transitional. Hmm. And, you know, there, there was a time, like, they didn't change the rules for, like, decades. Now they seem to change right? it every year. Yeah, and then there's... I like... I've always liked the idea that, like, they roll it out and then let it go for two or three years. So it takes so long to filter down. Yeah, yeah. But with technology, it can go a little bit faster. Sure. So, well, we'll see. Well, see, you know, the thing is, th it's going to happen for the Olympics. Yeah. It's going to be a score system. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm sure there's other things I haven't dug enough. We yeah, we'll, talk dive, about we'll dive into it. Maybe we'll talk yeah, a little yeah. bit more about it next week. But uh, there you go. New cut the rules. Exactly. The WKF. So there you go. We'll, we'll, we'll keep breaking that down. All right. Uh, you got something tactical for us this week, Richard? Well, I want to talk about one thing that we did on the weekend. Okay. Um, we had several groups of people and Norma Foster... Since it was here, she's a seventh down in Wado. She's the highest woman ranking. I was just about to say that. In yes. Wado, right? In Wado, yeah. yeah. And I think there are a couple of eighth or ninth stands in other styles. And then Peter Stoddart, sixth down, was over here doing his awesome amazingness. It's a huge event. Huge event. And um, then we had the, um, um, the club tournament. Now, in the club tournament, you should do your style kata. You would think. You would think. And so... Especially when, like, the technical director for Canada 
is refereeing all the kata from the center ref position. Um, but the kids have been going to tournaments. And, and here's one thing in my club. I don't take the wado kata and rearrange it for tournaments. Okay? Do some I don't, people do that? Oh, people do it all the time. What do you mean rearrange it? They change the timing, the oh, flow, yeah, so yeah. or yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they shiturize it's it. It's not or so much traditional it. awato. Really. Yeah, yeah. Kata they go, you know, the way I'm going to do it for my dan test, the way I'm going to do it in competition is all a little bit different. Sure. And I've n- maybe played with the timing of it. But the thing is, we're part of the main wado group. That's the style that, you know, when it used to be shite kata, mm. that was what everyone learned. Yeah. Anyway, her, but the kids are, a lot of kids are young, especially, I won't name names, and they've been, some of them have been to a lot of tournaments, and so, I will not embarrass this person, but they went up there, and I guess they'd just been at a tournament, and in their division, they just been, there'd been a lot of Shotokan kids, Okay, and they're like, I am going to so long stretch, shake my hips, tense my shoulders and pound my wado kata out oh. and norma sensei is gonna love it <laughs> and like being norma young norma sensei is not gonna oh love it. she <laughs> did not like it so my technical tactical tip and it, it was hammered home over and over again was when you're at a club tournament and or, it's a or, yeah, style, style time, based it's a style tournament. based tournament yeah you got to dig deep into your style and show it off. Go, go back to your roots. Go back to your roots. Yeah. You know? Um, so, yeah, it's funny because, like, some kids, they don't realize, like, they, oh, I'm going to show it off. Like, you know, like, oh, I've been working on my shiru kata. I think normal sensei, because she obviously knows them all. Sure. Being a world rebel referee can, like, she'll give me feedback after. I'm like, no. <laughs> That's not. You're just going to piss her Yeah, off. you're just going to be good. <laughs> like, this is a style event. Yeah. Bring the style. Yeah. And so then there were some kids who like did an awesome job on uh, bringing it forward. But that's, I just wanted to say that's my technical tactile because I heard a lot about it. Because fresh in your mind. Fresh in my mind. And not from all the kids were like that, but just one or two. There you go. By the way, in this club tournament, we didn't do the, the fitness thing. Sure. We, um, a, you were busy. Uh, but B, um, we had a lot of kids. Yeah, there's probably we had a lot of kids. Time or room. Really. Yeah, yeah. Like we like we normally slam all the samurais right before, and then we right away do juniors. Next time we're gonna put an hour break. Okay. And just readjust. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds cool. good. Um. All right. So you're back here this week. You you had your super important uh, meeting there last week. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. But I was all set last week for our. Our new uh, uh, second part of our new segment here, the karate quiz. Cool. I can't wait. So first time around, I thought I was going to stump you on the karate quiz, and okay. you knocked it out of the park. Okay. Gave me not only what I was asking, but gave me more. Yes. This week. Yes. You can stump me. I think I'm going to stump you. It's totally possible. I think I'm going to stump you. There's lots of things I don't know. Now, this is one that I picked from last week. So it's still world championship base. Okay. So think back in the world championship. We're thinking WKF world champions. Okay. Championships. Oh, people? Not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. Okay. So this week's karate quiz for Richard Mazda Yikes. is in the history of the WKF world championships since 1970. Yes. What are, because I know you'll get the first one. What are the top three countries for medals? Top three. Obviously, Japan. Japan is number one with 160, 188 total medals, 86 gold medals. Top three. I mean, it's got to be like, in the past, would have France. Hola. So, okay, sorry. So France is number two. Oh, wow. I'm, <laughs> <there>. okay. <laughs> I'm two for two. 165. <laughs> okay. And 53 gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I could screw up the end. I still made it almost halfway, almost the whole way. So Japan is number one. Yeah. All time WKF levels. France is number two. Yes. All time. All yeah. time. We're talking all time. All time. Wow. All time medal counts. Man. I, I should put a little caveat in here. This mm-hmm. is as of the 2016 world champions, but I don't think that matters. Oh, matter. okay. So I was like right there. I was going back to my head about like, you know, Great Britain in the 80s was just cleaning it up. And Great Britain is number three. Wow! Bonus was number one. 
number four. Oh, bonus. Four. You got it. You knocked it out of the park. Number four. one is Japan. Number yes. two is France. Number three is Great Britain. Jeez. Number four. Oh, man. Four. It's going to be a tough one. Or can I say three possible countries? Sure. Brazil, Egypt, Turkey. Only one of those is in the top. Is in the. Is in the top. next three. Okay. And it's What's Turkey. number four? Number four is Spain. Ah, I totally just I just blanked. That's all right. And I number five is Italy. But yeah, you I, nailed I just, it. I just blanked. One, I got Japan, the first two: France, three: Great Britain. Uh, absolutely great. So interestingly enough, Japan and France. In terms of total medal count, absolutely blown and gold medals, blowing away yeah, all yes, other competition. Yes. Uh, Great Britain, so Japan, 188 total medals. France, 165 total medals. Great Britain, 57 total medals. You know, Great Britain was dominant in the 80s. Like, oh yeah, just like there was 10 years where I think Great Britain won men's team kata, a uh, men's team kumite wow. for like a solid five world championships in a row crazy which would have given that's but like recently in the last 10 years it's very sporadic mm. jordan thomas was 2016 i don't think right. i don't think anybody won it in 2018 but um a gold medal but he got that one well you nailed it again Spooky. Richard Mazel. two for two on the karate quiz we will stump you yet oh, yeah, you, you guys will. have any uh karate quizzes that you'd like us to so you think that we could stump Richard Mosdell with. So yeah. Send him I, our way. Well, I was like, okay, well, we counting Great Britain. So, like, Brazil used to win a lot. Yeah, Brazil wasn't even uh, on the. But, but then Turkey and Egypt been strong. But then you're right. Like, obviously, Spain and Italy, I just skipped right over them. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Good job, Richard Mosdell. We'll get you. Woo! We'll get you yet. All right. What do we got going on here? Uh, coming up next weekend, we got the Provincials. provincial championships in, at the. Oval. That's right. The Richmond Olympic Oval. So that's December 1st and 2nd. Uh, what else? In that's that's all rec kids on novice, intermediate, advanced on Saturday. Elites. Hey, did, I, did we talk about how big the BC team is? We know it's over 200. We talked 208. about 208. Ooh, that's a lot of people to fitness test. Massive. It's going to be good. Massive. Do you know there's only like 99 people? Registered for the BC team like four years ago. Yeah, I know. And and than, at that time we were like, "Whoa, almost a hundred people!" I know. And now it's two hundred and eight. There was one year where forty seniors registered but didn't go. Okay. This year, I don't know why they like registered. I think that was the most I've ever seen was forty. Mm-hmm. But maybe back in like the early eighties, the, there was more adults. But um, but thirty-two registered, thirty-two will probably go. Great. That's it's. <laughs> what's your age group? What's what? What's your age group? My age group? Yeah. Well, men's. No, 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 not competing. Oh, like coaching. coaching. <laughs> We're talking about BC team. I was like, what? Uh, 14, 15. Okay. Yeah. It's had like a lot of black jokes. Or just <laughs> <laughs> uh, 14, 14, so you 14, have 14. a big group. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big group. It was big last year and I'll, I'll get a lot of the same ones. Looking yeah, forward to it. It's going to be good. It's going to be huge. And All then right, there's, coming, there's, sorry, a, there's a couple. 